Hello everyone, this is Zenea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this snowflake in Affinity Designer. As you can see, this figure is composed of various elements that are duplicated five times around the figure. So the way that we can create this figure is either to create each of the elements separately and then to duplicate it five times manually, or there is another way that we can follow. It is to create one element, turn it into a symbol, duplicate the symbol five times, and then every element that we add to the symbol will automatically be duplicated five times. All right, so to get started, we go to File, New, and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to the Margin tab, and we uncheck Include Margin, and we click on Create. And then we make sure that Snapping, Snap to Guides, and Snap to Object Bounding Boxes are enabled. And then we go to View Guides, and then we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So at first, we're going to create the two circles in the middle that are not duplicated. So we take the ellipse tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to three points. And then, starting from the middle of the composition, and we're holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions. We go ahead and we create a circle of about 40 pixels in dimensions. And then we go ahead and we create a second circle of about 140 pixels in dimensions. And then we're going to create the outer part of the figure. So we take the pen tool and leave the fill and stroke settings as they are. And then starting from about one third of the upper half, we go ahead and we create a straight line to the upper part of the circle. And then we take the Move tool and we go here to Layer, Create Symbol. So now the line is turned into a symbol. What this means is that after we duplicate it, every change that we make to one symbol will automatically also affect the other symbols. So now we go here to Enable Transform Origin and we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate and set the number of copies to 5 and the rotation angle to 60 degrees. And we click on OK. So now the symbol has been duplicated 5 times. So we uncollapse the symbol and we select the line within it. And then to show you how that works, every element that we add to the symbol will automatically be duplicated five times in the other symbols. So this is the advantage of working with symbols. It makes the drawing process much more efficient. And then we're going to create the remaining part of the snowflake. So we take the pen tool again. And starting from about one fourth of the line, and while holding shift to keep it at a 45 degrees angle, we go ahead and we create a line like this. And then we take the move tool. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate the line. And we flip the duplicated line horizontally. And then we move it to the right while holding shift until it snaps to the line in the middle. And then we take the pen tool again. And then starting from about the middle of the line and while holding shift again, we create a second line. So make sure that it is positioned within the symbol, otherwise it will not duplicate. And then we take the node tool and we're going to make it a bit more curved. And then with the move tool again, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we flip it horizontally and we move it to the left while holding Shift until it snaps to the guide. And then we're going to create this oval shape here. So in order to do it, we take the tier tool. And while holding Shift, we create a tier of about 
65 by 130 pixels in dimensions. And then we select it with the Move tool. So make sure that it is positioned within the symbol. So we position it in a way that its lower extremity sits on the circle and so that it is centered on the vertical axis. And then we flip it vertically. And then we're going to stretch it upwards. So first we go here to Layer, Convert to Curve. And then we select the upper node. And we go here to Convert to Sharp. And we stretch it upwards like this. And then we're going to rotate it. So we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And then we'll rotate it by 30 degrees. And if we want to make it bigger or smaller, we can select the shape here. And we can scale it up or down while holding Shift. And it will automatically also reflect on the other shapes. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a snowflake in Affinity Designer through the use of symbols. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.